being back in camp is great, even when I'll be 70 years old I want to play. I've been out of the fold for three years now and I was fairly at peace with not playing international rugby anymore. But then given the opportunity, Steve rang me up and asked me if I wanted to play and if I could be included in the squad and um, yeah, I would have bitten his hand off. Um, but it was over the phone so didn't have to. And then yeah, got invited in and it's been brilliant. Well, I've been told I've been brought into the squad mainly to help with set piece, improve that. Steve was setting when I ranked fairly low on certain parameters in the game. I've been brought in to be part of the group that works towards improving that. I think, you know, I've worked, Cox is a scrum coach I know very well from the club. I mean, he was my head coach. I've coached him in the academy when I was about 16, 17, all the way through for however many years. Here's a way he wants to bring in a, a system, and it's pretty much a system that he taught me. Obviously, there's been some changes, but he taught me, so, you know, it's probably I'm in the squad to help get across coaching to the rest of the group and you know, just be a sounding board and help with that um, and also to add some incredible wit and banter like I said before but don't include that bit. <laughs>Stevie speaks for itself in terms of what he's done in the game. He brings a huge amount of experience, especially around the set piece. Scrummaging is his life. The insight that he's been able to bring into what has been this rebuild of trying to get the England set piece back to being top in the world is, is vital, really. Um, and I've loved having him back in. He brings a lot off the field as well. Sometimes it takes some people a little while to work him out, but he's very dry. Uh, he's actually hilarious. I'm very lucky to be rooming with him in this campaign. Um, I feel sort of that I've snuck in on his bromance with Joe Marler. Um, so it's actually quite nice to be able to spend some time with him because usually those two are inseparable in camp. So Joe, if you're watching, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, you can have him back when we're out of camp. Go! <laughs>
Uh, obviously, he was hugely frustrated not to get on at the weekend. Coley's been brilliant in terms of wrapping his arm around him, and I've tried to do the same. Um, no one likes not getting on, but I've got no doubt that he's going to have a huge week this week and a huge impact on the team. And it's been incredibly impressive how Jack goes about his business. I've obviously been a big fan of his for, for a long time, so I'll be really excited and proud to watch him run on this weekend. Yes, obviously on um, on the weekend against Scotland, it was um, it was it was tough for the whole squad. Also for myself, I guess um, sit, sitting there on the bench, not actually getting on. But I, I guess that's one of those things. And when Jamie's playing that well and he's got that much experience in those tight games, he's someone that you definitely want on the pitch. So I understand the um, the reasoning and. I've just got to keep working hard, hopefully get my opportunity this weekend and if I do, just go and add what I can. It's a proud moment for me and my family, so to be included in the match day squad last week and then this week is, is absolutely huge. It's something I guess I've worked my whole life for it's, and it's something that, that, that I've wanted for a very long time. So to see my family there, even, even though I didn't get on to see my family there smiling and cheering them on was fantastic. For me, the real inspiration was my was my father, who sadly passed away when I was 16. He was a um, he was a rugby player as well, and obviously from a very young age, my dad and my granddad took me around the country, visited different countries, playing through the age groups, and supported me in in many ways. So, like I said, to finally get to this moment and something you've worked so hard for and and dreamed of, it'll be a, a very special moment for my family, and I'm sure um, I'm sure he'll be looking down with lots of pride. I know I've put in the work to, to go and take that opportunity and but if it if it doesn't come this weekend, I'll just keep keep preparing the team the best I can and like I said it's one big squad and we're all striving to get better. George and England, best opportunity of the opening 12 minutes by a distance for England. Off that ball goes and over. Willis goes, England, oh so simple, but it's slow ball for England and Italy have their line set, but that line cannot deal with Oli Chesham. Crowd raise their voice as England go in search of that third try, they've had one written off by Van Portfleet, George and co will look like that and return it to a three try half and they have and Jamie George, a pump of the fists. It was a pump of the legs from 10 English players in that ball that drove George to England's third try. for a high tackle. They may not need that advantage because they have to try. In they go. Yeah. Italy score. It's Riccioni. George and England on the prowl for a bonus point try. It's been route one all day. And they have advantage. And the referee says that advantage is a penalty try. It's try number four. Team Blue will go to the sin bin. Coming at it, wave after wave, and they find a gap, and through it goes Benicello. Fusco has it. Italy, gap, try! Simple as that! Mitchell back on that narrower of the two sides. He's ducking and weaving and looking and hoping to get an offload, and he has! Created by Mitchell, finished by Arundel. Opportunity to head 
Well, advantage is done. The referee happy that that is enough, and so is Owen Farrell, and so are England. They've scored five tries. Full-time score at Twickenham. England 31, Italy 14. Uh, really good, yeah, I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Yeah, a lot of running, brilliant. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it was good. Good win. The boys are buzzing. Am I trying to get in here? Or? No, I just cut the flat. That's my job now. PA. No, PA to the phone. We were. We were. Uh, in the line up. We were. We were. Team. Um, really happy for you today, mate. You work so hard and um, you really deserve this for everything that you've gone through. I know it's been a long time coming, but uh, well deserved, mate. And congratulations. Just a big thanks to you boys, absolutely loving part of the group. Um, me and my family work for this for obviously a few weeks now and it's, it's just really special. So thanks for being part of the group, thanks to the coaching staff and may continue. So cheers.